So Duke has been keeping a secret from everyone. Dukey, what is the secret? Look at his lip. Oh, dang. Aww. He's got a brother! Say hi! Say hi, Teddy. Say hi, buddy. Say hi. Say hi, everyone. So Allison saw something on Facebook uh, from a family friend who unfortunately had to get rid of him because I weren't able to take care of them. They didn't have the time they needed. So Teddy's a little Pomeranian mixed with something else. They don't know. Yeah. He's a mutt. But he's so sweet. Sit. Good boy. Give me a paw. Give me a paw. Oh, you're giving him both paws. Oh my gosh, they're so sweet. And this is Duke. Watch Duke. Duke, come here. Sit. He's a rebel without a claws. It's a rebel without a cause. What does I say? Rebel without a cause. Because it's Christmas time! <laughs> <laughs> so maybe we'll take a little family trip to Petco later. So, um. I said Petco and Duke popped his head up. The family friends had them, so we went to go pick them up. And they only had them for about a month or two, and they weren't able to take care of them. Their next door neighbors actually got them from the SPCA. And, um,. They weren't able to take care of him because they were mailmen. So. And they were never home to give him love. So we went and go pick him up and it's been nothing but an absolute joy. Look he at that. Was, Look at that face girl, governor. He was so fluffy when we got him. I'll put a picture in of what he looked like. He had so much hair. And hey. then we took him to get a little teddy bear cut. Teddy bear cut and his name is Teddy. Did we he say that yet? His name's Teddy. His name was Mufasa. Yeah, the first people that had him named him Mufasa and <laughs> Oh <laughs> Did you just did you just lick the camera? Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Good boy, give Paul. Oh. <laughs> and his little tongue hangs out the side of his mouth. Merry Christmas! We are Heading to our storage unit to go get all of our Christmas decorations. Ooh. And we're gonna decorate. We're gonna be those people. It's November the 2nd. <laughs> For record. Haters gonna hate, but we're gonna decorate. Oh, that rhymed. <laughs> <laughs> Dropping my mixtape soon. There's old Santa Claus. All right. Here's the van all packed up. All right, we've got the tree up. It just barely fits, but we don't care because there's no way we're not gonna have a Christmas tree. This is the situation right now. Everything's just kind of everywhere. Here's all of our stuff that was up in our house. It's over in a pile. So I've got some stuff places I'm just Taking stuff out of boxes still. Just rearranging things as I go. I think I'm gonna try to tackle the tree next. show you how I decorate my Christmas tree. So I just finished putting up my different types of ribbon on, which took a while. I'm gonna show you my process for hanging my ornaments and stuff like that. I'll show you some of the ornaments we have. We collect souvenir ornaments, so we have some from all the different trips that we've taken over the past few years since we've been married. Okay, so what I start out with is we have a set of a bunch of silver ornaments. We got like a variety pack from Walmart. So there's like glittery ones, what'd you call that? Satiny ones, and then like shiny ones. And then we have slightly smaller, basically gold versions of the same thing that we got from the dollar store. So don't sleep on the dollar store. They really have a lot of good decorations. I have like a ton of these little snowflakes my aunt got for me one year. I'll basically start with all of the ones that I have sets of. So these, the silver ones, the gold ones, and then I fill in with any of the souvenir ones anything that we just have one of.
also wanted to share my hack for keeping these little um, ornament hangers organized every year. The hack is there isn't one, so you should just throw them away every year and just buy a new pack because they're cheap. Okay, there's glitter everywhere. Out of my last ornament sets, I have these little, like, twirly sticks, for lack of a better nice pretty term, and then these little reindeer, and they're so adorable. Both of these sets were bought at the dollar store, and they've lasted us. We got them our first Christmas married, so this will be the fourth Christmas, so... They're good, and they're so cute and so cheap. I forgot about these. We also got these from the dollar store. So they've got like really cute stuff. You can stock up, get some of your basics there. Like you really can't tell a difference. You can't tell the difference if something was bought at the dollar store or at Walmart. I forgot about these. I also got these from the dollar store the first year we got married. And they've got little tiny mirrors on them so they look super sparkly and shiny. Moral of the story is do not neglect going to the dollar store to buy Christmas ornaments. just had a revelation. They're icicles. Duh. <gasps> okay, so I had to stop decorating yesterday. We were getting together with some family friends. So day two of Christmas decorating. Um, we had to go out and buy another strand because um, one of these strands burnt out. So I'm going to finish decorating the tree. Now I'll show you guys all of our single ornaments. Some of them are souvenirs. Some of them are gifts from people. Some of them I've just picked up along the way. So I've got this little um, snowflake. I think my aunt gave this to me for Christmas one year. This is another one that my aunt got for me. It's Hearth and Hand by Magnolia from Target because I love Chip and Joanna Gaines. If you know me at all, you know I love Rapunzel. So I got this um, one year after Christmas on clearance. Couldn't resist her. This is a first Christmas one that my mom bought us. This is another one that was a gift. This is from my cousin. I think it's from Pier 1. It's a little reindeer and his head kind of moves. Um, he's kind of broken, so if you bump it, his head will go like upside down. <laughs> this one is one that I made. I saw the idea on Pinterest. So um, I'm okay for my wedding. I didn't have real flowers. I would made, made it out of artificial flowers. So I had some of the same ones left over, and so I just broke them off and put them in this little clear ornament. So it's like a wedding keepsake ornament. Now we're getting into our souvenir ornaments. So this one, obviously, we got from the Capitol when we went to Washington, D.C. John and I love taking trips there. It's like one of my favorite places. We love riding the metro and walking around the city. We have a Steelers ornament, and we're not necessarily Steelers fans, but my whole family is from Pittsburgh. And so this is kind of more in honor of my Papap, who's passed away. His birthday was Christmas Eve, and every year for his birthday and for Christmas, he always loved getting Steelers merchandise. So this one's kind of in honor of Papap. This one we got from last year when we went to Disney, and this one actually lights up. I don't know if you can see that. The little inside of the castle's lit up. This year when we went to Disney, this was the ornament we got. This one, the castle also lights up, but it's kind of like a little uh, snow globe type thing. This one's from our uh, trip to Orlando last year when we went to Universal. This is like a legit heavy duty ornament. It's pretty heavy. And then I just noticed yesterday on the back it has the year, but it's kind of scraping off a little bit. We have really good family friends that live in Holland. They're Dutch. Um, so I don't know if they gave this to me or if I got this when we visited Holland. But there's our little Dutch ornament. This ornament was also a gift when we went over to Holland in 2013. Um, one of the families that we got to know when we were over there, they gave everybody little gifts at the end of the week. And um, there was like a little candle and a few other things and this ornament. So this is from Fabienne and Francois. The last few that I have are these little vintage looking book ornaments. Got them at an antique store a few years ago. 
pretty sure they're not antique. They were just made to look that way, but I don't care. They're so cute. These are little farmhouses, all covered in snow. I've got this one, a good old-fashioned family window shopping. We've got a Nutcracker one. John and I love Nutcrackers at Christmas time. They're just so fun. Now that I'm done with the ornaments, the last step is to put in my tree picks. I have four different sets. These two are from the dollar store, so this one and these gold ones, they're both from the dollar store. I've got this set. This was a gift to me from my aunt. And then these ones we got at Hobby Lobby last year. Pretty sure it was Hobby Lobby. If not Hobby Lobby, then it was Michael's. As you can tell, our decorating scheme is like silver, gold, bronzy, brassy, glittery magic. And here's the finished tree. So once the sun goes down in a few hours, I'll film it again so you guys can see it at nighttime with it all lit up and pretty. So there you go. So there's the apartment all decorated for Christmas. It's definitely nice and cozy in here because it's so small, but we are Christmas people and we are gonna go out regardless of how tiny the space is that we live. If you love Christmas and you like this video, then give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next video.